Girls are confusing creatures. There have been many instances where me and my best friend have been psychoanalyzing every single signal that could suggest a girl likes me. Wait bro, wait. She sent me a Christmas card with love from at the end. Is she trying to tell me something bro? Shit, I just put funny minion memes in her Christmas card. Oh my god bro, I had no idea. It's not like love from is just a typical common signing at the end of Christmas cards bro. What the fuck? I wish that I was making that story up. <laughs> I've personally never been in a serious relationship and there's one main reason for that it's because during high school I looked like absolute dog shit <laughs> not a single girl had any interest in me but even if I didn't look like an acne ridden Mr Bean I still wouldn't have gotten into a relationship because I would have definitely screwed it up somehow I think sometimes people go into relationships without thinking it could literally be the case that the only thing you have in common is that you're interested in each other or she likes the same music that you do. To be fair, if a girl liked Elvis as much as me, I think I would probably propose on the spot. <laughs> and that's the problem. You initially find this girl attractive, maybe she's a 6 or a 7, and then she says one thing that vibes with you and then suddenly this fair maiden makes Margot Robbie look like a 4. <laughs> I can personally relate to this. There's this girl in my English class who's quite attractive and petite. I happened to bump into her one morning the other week and we had quite a nice pleasant conversation. Nothing too personal, just basic small talk. That being said, I still elevated the idea of her in my mind, purely because she decided to talk to me. Although it's extremely tempting, I'm not going to pursue this girl. Why? Because I'm focused on self-improvement. Self-improvement is my biatch. <laughs> also, this girl seems like she scrolls on TikTok for hours and wakes up late. So pretty much like 99% of the female population. What's the issue, bro? Your standards are too high, bro. Bro thinks he's Patrick Bateman Sigma male. Bro. Yes, my standards are high. I want to meet the mother of my children, not some flimsy pick-me girl. Oh, but you can practice with this girl and then when you meet the one, you can have a better relationship with her. <laughs> you know how messed up that is, using another human being as practice? You're wasting her time, you're wasting your time. Too many guys have the mentality of, oh, girls have bobs and ass. Me want. <laughs> You need to stop putting every girl on a pedestal purely because she don't have a penis. <laughs> if she vapes, drinks, chats shit, if your only criteria is that she likes me back, you're setting yourself up for disaster. But then, the loneliness kicks in. You're listening to that one romantic song. For me, it's It's Now or Never by Elvis. You imagine slow dancing with your girl. The warmth of her embrace. Her eyes that could mount a mountain, her indescribable kiss. Perfection would be an understatement. She smiles and says she loves you. And then you open your eyes. What you just imagined will happen. Just make sure it's with the right girl and not some stinky slag. Develop yourself, build your garden, have high standards, and do it for her. Godspeed, bro. Mwah.